Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic and today I've got a bunch of highlights from the past week of hunting on Loggers Point, Whiteheart Island, and Pickabean Bay. And the first couple clips that we're going to actually show off are from the 12 hour live stream that we did to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, which once again, thank you guys for helping get us there. It's been a crazy experience to say the least, but anyway, before we get into the clips, let's go ahead and take out this pig first because... This is a decent male at least, so I'm going to try and get an arrow into him. I don't know if it's going to spook everything off. I think it probably will. We'll try. And, well, that'll do the trick, but it did spook everything off in the process, so let's just do a quick look around to make sure nothing big is going to run off because there's always that chance that there could be something big that'll spook off when these guys start running around. It's looking like we're okay though, so that's good. And in fact, there's actually a doe that didn't spook off too, so... Let's see if we can actually hit her. This is a bit of a long shot, but we've done it in the past, so I think we should be fine. And we stuck it pretty good, but it does look like it is a single lung. Therefore, it will run a bit. Which isn't really anything new. But anyway, let's go ahead and pick this pig up. And it is a... 701 so about an average pig maybe a little bit above average nothing too crazy but not tiny either all right well now that we took out that pig and have got a good look around here and don't really see anything else too notable i think it's time to jump into the first two clips these were both from the 12 hour live stream and the first one was from right here on loggers point i had just jumped into a hunt with flinter and i found a couple really nice pigs side by side right at this tree stand right here so without further ado let's jump into that that's gonna be probably towards the top of that estimate i'd imagine oh he's got good teeth 1040 that's yeah, not a bad one at all time for him to get the 9.3 treatment if his weight cooperates you could be right up there at the there's another max end oh my gosh there's another big one you don't even Eight, have a 10 fear. to 1200 <laughs> all right then um Hmm. Now, I'm in a bit of an odd situation. I guess we could try to take one with the first shot and then get another one. Okay, shoot the second one first, though. The second one you spotted. Yeah, this guy right here, <laughs> the 1200. He's definitely yeah. nice. Where, where'd the other big one go? Um, I don't know where... Is that him? That might be... No, I think that's the same one we already shot. Uh, it didn't go how I planned it to. Wait. You got the better can... one, though. I got one of them. I don't know if that was the big one or not, but... Something died, at least. No, that one that we just shot is a different one. So, this guy right here, we actually dropped pretty much on the spot. He ran a little bit. Very curious how big he's going to be, though. Low 1100s, I say. Probably. Maybe even just below 1100. You think? Possibly. 936, okay. Hold on, which one was that? This was, I believe, the bigger one. The this one you shot with the gun, not the bow. Yes, yeah, this is the what? 1200 estimate one. He looked so much bigger than that. He really did. I still don't get that looking at that, how he's not at least a thousand. Yeah, he looks to be really big. Huh. Very surprised myself. Uh, is that. That's yeah, good enough angle. Not bad. Definitely was expecting more, though. But we still have one more chance. Let's go see if that guy's any better. As far as I'm concerned, one of the best things about Classic? Yeah, for sure. That way, if you don't want... Oh, that was that was actually the same size as the last one, pretty much. Wow. A little bigger. Yeah, not bad. Huh. We were completely wrong on that. <laughs> yeah. This is good enough right here. <laughs> we'll go with it. You having that issue where the animals move in your character, like pushing it? Yep. Of course. Well, that is the call of a Rusa deer. So we're actually going to go chase that down. But that was the first clip that we got during that live stream. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. This next clip is going to be of a pretty big banting that we got towards the end of the Hunter Classic portion of that stream. So before we get into that, we're actually going to go after this Rusa right here. So... Let's move a little bit closer and see if we can get into a good position to call it in. 
Oh, there it is. There's the Rusa. I think that's actually a pretty decent Rusa, too. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and take a shot at this guy. I'm very curious how big he's going to be. I don't hunt these too much, so who knows? This could be a big one. And yeah, that's a dead Rusa right there, so let's go pick it up. I'm very excited to see how much this thing's going to score. I'm going to have to check the leaderboards, though, because I don't know what a big one even is. So it looks like for the Rusa deer, a leaderboard one is 182 or above. And this one right here looks pretty decent. So I'd say if we get one that's like 177, 178, somewhere in that range, we might taxidermize it. But this one looks pretty good, honestly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and claim this guy. See what he's actually going to score. I'm very, very curious, though. It looks to be a good one. 180. That is a huge Rusa deer. This was the first thing I spotted when I spawned in. I was coming here just so that I could get a single kill to kind of transition to this next clip, but hold on, that's actually <laughs> probably better than a couple of the other things that we have to show off, so that's a really nice find. I'm super excited about that. So honestly, I don't even quite know what to do for this trophy shot. It's kind of in a weird spot. I mean, that kind of shows it off pretty good. I mean, yeah, I guess that's fine right there. It sucks that there's not good light, though. But honestly, I think that's going to be good enough there. Let's see what we can do for... Yeah, once again, honestly, the chroma shows things pretty well. I feel like it really makes things stand out in low light scenarios. So if you guys haven't tried that out, if you're in a low light area, the chroma filter works really good in making them pop a little bit more. And it makes it so we can actually see the antlers much better. So that's not bad. Although there's something that's bugging me. I just realized the hand is kind of going through the antler. There we go. I think that is what we needed. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. We will go with that. Go ahead and taxidermize that guy. That is a monster Rusa deer. And I think classic crashed. Oh, wait. No, there we go. <laughs> that took probably a full, like, 20 seconds to complete that taxidermization right there. That is not exactly what I was hoping for. It kind of scared me for a second, but we got it. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the next clip of that giant Bantang. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pretty big Bantang right here. Let's go ahead and smoke this guy. He's looking really good, though. Not sure if this guy is going to be my biggest, but he definitely is a really nice one. My previous best is like 154, so I'm thinking this guy is probably going to be... At least close to that. Or actually, no, 157 was my previous best. We'll see what this guy is, though, but that's a huge one. Yeah, this guy is definitely huge. Definitely a big, big Bantang. It looks so good, too. This is the same color as my personal best. Even more of a reason for me to believe that he's pretty decent. Let's see. It is 150. Not bad. That's a good Bantang. Really good Bantang. Um, I guess now we try to get him into the light where we can actually see him better. There we go. Good enough. He looks a little strange, but it will have to do. That's a really good Bantang, though, but my gosh, they don't give much money at all. I didn't realize they gave such low gems, but yeah, it's not bad. It's a really good one. So we have some turkeys that are actually extremely close to us. We're going to wait for them to come in, and then after we take these out, we'll get into the final two clips of the video, and these are by far the craziest ones, and probably two of my favorite trophies that I've got as of recent, and I think you guys are going to be really excited to see them too. Oh my gosh, there it is. There's the turkey. A lot closer than I thought it would be. There it is. That's a pretty decent one too. Looked like it said 35 to 60. The beard looks good, but I'm guessing that there's something else holding the score estimate down. Let's get a shot on it, though, if we can. And we got it. I'm not exactly sure what went on there, but 
They must have noticed us somehow. I'm guessing it was just because we were a little bit closer than I intended to be. But we did get it in the end. I'm actually kind of surprised that we even hit it though. But anyway, there's our turkey. I'm not sure which one of them this was because there was two there. And it looks like it was probably the one that we were looking at. So go ahead and grab this. 8.8 kgs and 53.6. So pretty average scoring one. Definitely not terrible, but not great either. But now that we got that guy, let's go ahead and jump into these clips. Now, the first one, I was actually extremely shocked to see this walk out of the trees. And it was actually right here at Golden Tree Stand. Both of these were actually. And I was doing the Blacktail missions and just happened to have both of these come out. And once again, missions producing crazy trophies seems to be a trend with me. So definitely going to continue doing that in the future. But without further ado, let's jump into those clips right now. So what we have right here is actually a really awesome looking non-typical blacktail deer. I've been looking for a good looking non-typical blacktail for some time now. And we finally have one in front of us. And there's also a pretty big elk in the back that I saw a little bit ago that I definitely want to take out next. But this guy is a little bit more important as of now, so we're going to try to let him get close. Uh, we might have some issues though because there is another one under us, so let's take, um, okay, that could be a problem. We have the buck, one with a doe, and another doe. Yeah, this might end poorly. But this guy's almost in range, so we should be able to take a shot on him. And in fact, as long as he doesn't move, that should be good right there. Didn't drop him how I was hoping it would, but he'll go down at least. However, the elk that I was waiting for is probably gone by now. I can't really see him because he was further up in the trees, but I'd say he's definitely gone. And that's the first animal that actually didn't drop on the spot, so that's a little bit unfortunate. And there's our buck. He's actually in a pretty good spot, too, right in the middle of this field. So, honestly, pretty happy with the place that he died in. I am, however, going to wait to uh, take the picture because I do want to make sure we actually have some decent weather. Because this picture will be very, very dark if we actually take a picture now. We will get this guy claimed, though, and get a good look at him. Because I'm very excited to see what this guy looks like in the trophy shot. And just so we can make sure that we at least get a good look at him in case the game crashes or something. But it is a 113 scoring non-typical black tail. And that is super awesome. I honestly could not be happier. This is something I've wanted for quite some time. And we just finally got one. It's not exactly the 150 plus I was hoping. But still really, really nice. And honestly, this might be the coolest looking rack I've ever seen on a non-typical in this game. I really like the way that looks. The Blacktail really do have the most realistic looking non-typicals. I love these way more than the Whitetail or the Mule Deer. They don't get nearly as big, but they look extremely realistic, which I think is super, super cool. Honestly, this is probably the best we're going to get with the uh, angle that we're at. It didn't die in the most flat spot, so unfortunately can't really get that... A uh, weird drop time that comes off the side. Very good in the picture, but I mean, overall, this isn't too bad. At least shows it off pretty good. And I think if we maybe get it over just a little bit, maybe we can show it off a little bit better even. Honestly, that's not too bad. I think we will go with probably that right there. Overall, not too bad take a look at the different filters see if any of them make it pop more and actually I like the way the chroma looks on this it actually makes this show up a lot better so we're gonna go ahead and go with that and that right there is a awesome looking non-typical black tail deer super excited to finally get a decent sized one so it was actually in the middle of the night when I managed to get this monster black tail to walk in so there is no commentary over the clip, so I'll kind of just be commentating over it like you hear right now. And I was on the missions for the Blacktail, and we were currently at the one where we needed to take a Blacktail buck with Buckshot. And this happened to be the first one that stepped out. I was pretty excited to see that giant rat come out of the woods. And it's honestly something I really was not expecting to see. This is the first time I've ever had a 190 plus Blacktail come into my sights, and... 
Man, it was pretty insane to see, I gotta say. I look forward to trying to get a few of these in the future that score slightly higher. This one wasn't quite on leaderboards, unfortunately. I believe you need, like, 194 or something like that to hit leaderboards, and this guy was a little bit below that, sadly, but it's still an absolutely monster black tail deer, and probably one of the coolest things I've killed in the past few weeks, so... It seems every time that we make a classic video, we get something just slightly better than the last, and that's one of those things that keeps you coming back to this game, and I look forward to going for some more Monster Black Tail in the future. When I set these lodges up right before I started recording for this video, I did not expect to have to add a Rusa to the collection, so I honestly have no idea where I'm even going to put it, and I don't even know if it's going to fit in here as well as I would like it to. We pretty much have just North American deer species in here, besides obviously the red deer, but I don't know if this would even fit in here. I might have to put it in a different lodge, so I guess we'll try to figure that out in a little bit, but while we're in here, we might as well take a look at the two blacktail deer. That is the 192 blacktail that popped out at the end there. I was not expecting to see this thing. Unfortunately, he wasn't quite as big as I was hoping because I believe you do need 194 or 195 to hit leaderboards, and this guy was 192.2, so a little bit short of leaderboards, but still a monster blacktail, and easily the biggest one I've ever seen. One thing about the blacktail that's a little bit strange is they do jump from, I think, 169 to low 190s. There's a very big score gap. I don't think anybody ever gets a 180s blacktail deer, so that's one strange thing about the blacktail, but... Enough looking at that guy, let's go ahead and take a look at this one, because this is actually the one that I'm super excited about. This little 113 scoring non-typical. I think this is one of the coolest trophies that we've been able to kill here on Classic, and this really just shows how nice the non-typical blacktail are compared to the whitetail and the mule deer. They may not be nearly as big, but they look way more realistic, and I just absolutely love them. I would love to find a 200 scoring one. Those are extremely rare though, so... If we can just find a 150, I'd be happy with that also. So honestly, I think what I'm going to do here is replace our 110 Sitka deer with this Rusa right here. And we'll put the Sitka in a different lodge. So for now, we'll leave this guy here. I think he's going to look pretty good up top there. And yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Kind of like that, although... At some point, I might move him just because you can't actually see him super good there. Just because of the angle at which the horns are. Or antlers, I should say. But yeah, other than that... Actually... Actually, that looks good right there. I think that's going to be the spot. We'll leave it. Not too bad. I'm happy with that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. And also, if you have any ideas for a future video or just want to let me know how your day was, be sure to comment down below. It helps out the video an absolute ton by getting more interaction and pushing it higher up into YouTube's algorithms. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and are enjoying the content. I do post as much as I possibly can, typically three to five times a week, along with daily live streams. So if you've been enjoying the content, there is plenty more to be had in the future. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.